assalamu alaikum in this video i'll be refuting one of the most common uh, errors from science claims made against the quran namely the quran says that uh, flesh is created flesh and muscles are created after bones now this is one of the most common claims but it's actually a really desperate and pathetic claim made against the quran and i'll explain why so the uh, contention is that quran says that bones are uh, the flesh is created after uh, bones while science says both are created simultaneously funny thing is quran does not mention the time when flesh is created let's read the ayat then uh, the translation of the ayat then we made the sperm drop into a clinging clot and we made the clot into a lump of flesh and we made from the lump bones and we covered the bones with flesh then we developed him into another creation now understand this point this is a very simple point quran is not saying that then we create the flesh after creating the bones or make the flesh after making the bones quran is just saying bones are covered with flesh at that point right the flesh does not need to need to be created at the time when after the bones are created it could be created with the bones simultaneously i mean it's a very simple to understand point let's say your baby is born and you are covering him with clothes right those clothes do not need to be created the same time your baby is born those clothes can and do exist before your baby is born so just because flesh is covering the bones after the bones are made that doesn't mean flesh does not exist before the bones or the flesh is not formed at the same time as the bones so this is actually a quite desperate and pathetic claim against islam and uh, i mean a lot of uh, muslims go to a lot of depth on this topic i really don't think there's a need to do that i mean this is so easily refuted just reading the quran ay- quranic ayat uh, refutes this stupid claim so i learned this video now inshallah i'll keep making more and more uh, refutations of error claims against the truth of islam